everyone, and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as tapping that subscribe button, making sure to select all to receive all of my future postings after you tap the notification bell. So as you can see here, we have quite a big basket of goodies and we are about to make some fabulous Nutcracker lanterns. Now, I will be posting in my description box um, a couple of things that can be purchased and that is the lantern and also my twinkling um, lights. And again, they will be posted in my description box and it will send you over to my Amazon storefront. So hopefully there's going to be enough lanterns to go around for everyone. Anyways, so I've been busy on this staircase, waking up first thing in the morning, working all day long, everyone, until the late hours. And I just, we're getting it done this week and that's all there is to it. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, let's take a look at some of these goodies in here. So we have this fabulous um, sashy type of uh, like an emerald green ribbon, loving it. This came from Home Goods, only $5.99 for the spool. And you can't beat that price, that's for sure. I have many different bulbs. Um, there's three different colors of red bulbs and a nutcracker. These came from Home Goods as well. And just look at all the details on him. He's so much fun. So I have a couple of them. And then the frog, that came from Mackenzie Childs. And uh, the, like I said, the sashi ribbon, that is from Home Goods. <laughs> okay, here is the lantern, everyone. It is just the best chippy goodness you will ever see. It's very large, very heavy duty. The top is all metal. and it, they are linked at my Amazon storefront and they always sell out quickly. Now it has one side door right here and it's just the one way you just put things in and, and take them out and it's quite a nice size. Also, I'm going to be using these twinkling lights. Well, they actually have eight different functions. Um, and these will be posted in my description box as well. And they can be purchased from my Amazon storefront. And they also come with a remote. I just don't know where that is right now. <laughs> Everything is just everywhere. So I had to move from the sunroom over into this area. I'm going to be adding some lights inside the snowflake because the sun was just really coming in hard and it was giving too much of a glare in the sunroom. So what I do is I just fold the wire in half and just wrap it around the snowflake. And I'm having to do it this way because I already used the tip of the garland to go inside the greenery. And that greenery pick um, was purchased from Michael's. I love the, the oranges. They look really good in this pick with a couple different um, styles of pine and some red berries. So it's all wrapped. Now I'm just going to tuck it in the back behind the berry pick. Oh, I guess there was a couple more. <laughs> 
So these um, Christmas ornaments, they came from Home Goods. And there's three um, different um, finishes with these. You have a matte red, and then you have like a crackle, like a candied red. That's the crackle one. And the other is just a shiny, but changed my mind a little bit. And I want to go ahead and add a bell. And these, uh, the bells I'll be using, again, they did come from Home Goods, and they were actually a garland. I just took the garland apart to use the bells. You know, and one, when making these lanterns or any lantern, you can go, you know, smaller ornaments. You don't have to stay so, um, use such large ornaments like in this lantern. It's just this lantern is very, very large and it would really swallow up the small ornaments. Going to add in another gold bell. And as you can see, the this pit kind of got buried a little bit and that's okay. We can see some of the berries and some of the oranges. But what I also decided to do is just get a little bit of moss and place it in between a few of the ornaments. And I keep, let me tell you, me and this snowflake making this lantern, it is um, a serious love-hate relationship. <laughs> I just, oh, it just kept going everywhere along with the Nutcracker, but no worries. we finally got everything straightened out. <laughs> now I have a few things going on here. I lifted up some of the lights because I'm going to be using them for something I will be adding right here in this area. I placed the battery pack underneath the moss and the moss that can basically be purchased anywhere Michaels Hobby Lobby Joann's and I'm going to add in another pick I'm just gonna place it right here in the back Now this one, you're definitely going to be able to see this one. I'm going to wrap a few of the lights around. You know, these lanterns look really nice as well with um, some candles in them, some pillar candles. And they are um, deep enough to wear a pillar candle will fit in them nicely. But I just wanted to do something a little bit different this year. So I have the lights all wrapped inside the pick. And now I'm going to add in a house plant. So my husband and I, we've really been bringing in a lot of the house plants um, now that everything has settled down and um, it's just wonderful everyone bringing in the real plants I'm gonna try to scoot this on in here see there's just one way in and one way out and it's funny a couple times I actually placed my hand in the front of the glass like I could really um, <laughs> go through the glass or something. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I wasn't many times. Um, Bev is very, very tired over here, everyone. I've been working so hard. And it just, it felt really good to be able to sit down. See, look, there goes that nutcracker falling over. And then the snowflake is going to fall over and it, it's whatever at this point. But anyhow, 
the house plant just fit in there perfectly and now I'm gonna wrap some lights in it I love um, having lights inside of plants it's just it, it just gives a very nice um, calming feel when one adds lights inside of um, plants I'm just gonna lift them. I don't even know why I'm lifting them up they're just gonna move again but anyhow you'll see it'll all come together <laughs> the nutcracker he's just oh he's everything love him and the new plant as well it's very delicate I love the the rich green color it goes very well with all the Christmas reds and golds and of course the moss always the moss and I'm gonna add one bell over here as well And I'm gonna make sure to continue to wrap the lights through. Now I will be adding in this sweet little frog that was purchased. It's actually um, a napkin holder. I have four of them. And they came from Mackenzie Childs. I'm just going to place him right on in because after all he is a tree frog <laughs> he wants to play inside the tree now we'll see I think maybe we're going to change something here yes we placed him down lower on top of the berries now I'm going to add in some of my dried oranges and apples and it's coming everyone I have not forgotten I am going to be sharing how I dry my oranges and apples I promise promise and now I'm just gonna sprinkle them around inside because you know when you add in the dried oranges and the apples um, it truly just really brings in that old world feel. That apple, I just um, placed it there and decided, nope, just a little too big. So I removed it and I'm going to place in a smaller one. Always make sure to add in those dried um, oranges and apples in your arrangements during fall and Christmas the scent is fabulous and they just make every arrangement perfect <laughs> 